Hello Aquarius and welcome to your monthly reading. I just wanted to say thank you all for your patience. I've been absent for a few days, but I've been um, finishing up a top secret project uh, that's not so secret anymore and has been launched. And that is uh, the website secrettarot.com. And on there you can find services like tarot readings, astrological readings, all the things and I would love for you to check it out. You can meet some of the ladies that I've been working with on there and yeah so check it out secretsarrow.com let me know what you think and I will put the link down below in the description box. All right let's get started with your reading. This is for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? If this resonates with you, Aquarius, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Aquarius, please do check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Aquarius out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So whatever, however it resonates with you. This is for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Okay. Well, there you are. Okay. Well, that's nice. Wow. Okay. This is really, really nice for you. Um, we will take a look at career after the love reading, but this is kind of dominant love. Um, but we will take a look at career after we dive deep into the love reading. And then uh, we will pull you a little oracle card and get you a message from the universe. So you finally kind of let it go and set yourself free. Um, the past, I'm seeing that. You were really stuck in your head there. Um, maybe somebody was keeping you stuck in your head. But I'm seeing you releasing that and getting back out there. It's a beautiful thing, Aquarius. It's absolutely beautiful. So what can you expect when you release the past? Well, you can welcome, welcome in the new, right? Ace of Cups. And that is what is happening. And that is um, what you are manifesting. So I'm seeing the magician here. I'm seeing the wheel of fortune. I'm seeing forward movement. It's just, it's all good, good. Lots of major arcana cards here. And so focus for you has been love, manifesting love, calling in the love. And this is the love that you have manifested. And so here they come. So you feel like, you know, it's, you've been stuck. It's almost like, okay, am I making the right decision in, you know, letting this past person go? Yes, you are, because what's coming is you're something better. So it's, even though a lot of you probably didn't want much to do with the past, it was very much a blocked energy, you were still, like, you had to release it. It, it caused you to stand still, maybe even be afraid. It's like a self-imprisonment. Be afraid of welcoming in the new, but I feel like you're, you're over that, right? So no more standing still. No more of that blocked energy to absorb. So you have kind of gone through this glow up and not just, you know, physically, maybe some of you physically, um, you know, maybe you're watching your body taking care of yourself a lot more. Maybe you're doing some 
different things with your appearance, but it's also very, I want to say, very spiritually um, and emotionally as well. So you, you're reestablishing yourself after thinking about the past way too damn hard. And it kind of kept you locked, frozen. So now you're stepping out on the scene, right? Single lady card, single person card, looking good, feeling good, all the things. And ready to manifest the love of your life, really. Nine of Pentacles here. So there you are, walking away from things and people that no longer serve you. It was a very empty situation. You didn't get what you wanted, um, but it did hurt, right? And I feel like with this Eight of Cups as well, you've just been kind of looking around, kind of searching for your person. Well, you can't get nowhere if you're staying in the house, right? If you're completely just thinking about the past, thinking about the past. So the glow up happened um, or is happening and you're ready to step out on the scene. This is you all day. This is dominant Aquarius energy, king of swords. You could be dealing with another air sign, male or female, but you're just, you're feeling very powerful and very confident and very clear on what you want these days. And I feel like, you know, you just want to get out there, celebrate, um, do your thing, and kind of put yourself out there again. Um, because, and maybe spend time with friends and family, getting to know people, making new contacts, maybe, um, you know, getting involved in new communities so that you can meet new people. And that's all a beautiful thing, right? Because... When you are standing still and you are, it's like a self-imprisonment if, you know, dealing with the past, thinking about the past and not really getting out there, not really living, how is love going to find you, right? So, Eight of Swords here, we're releasing that. That's done. That's over. So yesterday is heavy and you are putting it down. And what happens is the, a major shift, right? So you create the reality that you want. And it is all about your thoughts. It is all about the way that you, you, you feel on the inside, the way you feel, on the, you know, about yourself on the outside. It is all about positive, positive, positive energy. And this is why things are shifting for you. Because this is very negative. You're turning everything into a positive. And maybe you're speaking differently. Um, speaking positive things out into the universe. And therefore, positive things are going to happen to you. And one of those positive things is the lovers, right? So, you know, you ask and you shall receive. You could be dealing with a Gemini or somebody with Gemini in their chart. Your decision when you meet this person, because there is love here. Um, and, okay, is this my, is this my person? I believe that it is. Because you're going from the Eight of Cups here to the Nine of Cups in the Outcome. Right, so what's your cups were once empty and now they will be fulfilled with someone new with a new love that has offerings for you, and this is definitely a shift, a positive shift. But you realize that standing still, staying in the house, not doing anything, just kind of binding yourself ain't working. So you are creating the reality. You are manifesting. You are in a more positive state of mind and therefore the universe will turn in your favor. And this is because you've call, you're calling it in. Like I said, you're creating the reality that you want to live in. You are the magician 
of your own life, of your own destiny. And I feel like that has clicked for a lot of you. So moving forward, that's what you're doing. And you're leaving all negative energy in the dust. We have the chariot here. You're going in a completely and totally different direction. That is your victory. So you're hoping that this new person is your person that you have called in. And you're hoping, this is in your hopes and fears, that it will be successful, like it will be a successful situation. And like I said, walking away from empty cups and right into cups fulfilled. This is your wish fulfillment. All right. So that's beautiful. Please clarify the nine of cups for Aquarius. So lots of talking, lots of very clear and direct talking um, starts with, you know, interest and flirting and all the things, page of wands there, but this is going to be a successful situation for you. This is your victory and you're going to see that ace of swords there. So that's lovely. So you're wondering if it's going to be a successful situation. It will be a successful situation. So is this your person? I do believe that it is because this is the person that you've called into your life. All right, let's take a look at career. I see um, overwhelm. I see exhaustion. I see like you be just kind of barely hanging on, right? And I see you being very, very stuck. But again, that is most definitely changing for you. I see it's almost like you're going to have to make a decision, right? But you're going to make a very well-informed decision decision and it is something new coming towards you and offerings and success and all the things but again you're walking away from empty to fulfilled and I feel like if money is an issue with this new situation that you have manifested for yourself you're working really hard by the way to manifest um, financial improvement therefore you're going to be counting your coins with this could be your own thing could be you manifesting a new job but whatever it is you're like following the signs following your heart to do so at the end of the day this is going to be aquarius celebrating all right you're not going to regret um these decisions to, you know, move on, just move on, let the heaviness and this trap stuck feeling go. And it's, it's yours, right? It's, it's almost like it's the universe has just been waiting for you for this light bulb moment for you to realize, okay, you can't stand still and expect you know, things to happen. You have to put action behind your manifestations, you know, positive energy, you know, leading with confidence, all these things, speaking positive things into the universe, letting all the bullshit go and move forward. Let's start to move forward. Your manifestations, you have to put work behind it. And the universe is right there with you, helping you to clear your own path. And this is how you achieve success. And I feel like this is the light bulb moment that you've had. All right. So let us pull an oracle card for you, Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? What does Aquarius need to know? Let's see. We have growth. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, just like I was just talking about. I want to 
expand my consciousness and my awareness. And I feel, like I said, in regards to love, in regards to your finances, it's all about this light bulb moment, letting go of the past and just creating the reality that you want to live in. It truly is a, a, a growing experience that, you know, people have to go through. And you've realized it. And now your cups will be fulfilled. All right, Aquarius, that is what's going on. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on all the socials. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. And don't forget to check out the new website, um, secrettarot.com. Thank you all so much. And I'll talk to you soon. May God bless each and every one of you.